Good morning, everyone. Wait, wait, I can't hear you. Oh, that's right. You're at home and I'm here in the hideout alone. Well, except for who's doing the camera. Say hi to the camera. I came to the hideout today to say hi and then I miss all of you. The hideout has been empty for five weeks. No children's church, no Sunday school, no kids on Wednesday night, just an empty room in the building we call our church. This is a good time to think about what church really means. When Jesus died on the cross, the veil in the temple that separated the Holy of Holies was torn in two from top to bottom. Jesus paid the ultimate price for our sins. He made it possible for God and sinners to be reconciled. And when you ask him for forgiveness of your sins and receive God's salvation through Jesus, then Jesus comes into your life through the Holy Spirit. You become a temple of the Holy Spirit living in you. When we make the choice, we each become part of God's church, his family. Whoa, children of God, brothers and sisters through Christ. This is just the building. It was built for the purpose of meeting together, to worship God, and fellowship together. God wants us to meet together. But right now, we have to meet separately in our houses. But we are still all his church. No matter where we are, even our missionary friends all around the world. Now, in John 4, 23 and 24, it says, Yet a time is coming, has now come, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. And Jesus is the truth, and we worship in spirit and in the truth. I am thankful to God that we can be together today through video. And we can text each other and telephone and send mail. And that we can pray to God for each other, our pastors and our families, and for our missionary friends. In fact, let's pray right now. Dear God, I just praise and thank you that we can come together that through Jesus to you. And I just thank you so much that you are with us wherever we are. And I just pray, God, and thank you, too, that you provide for all of our needs. I just pray for each and every one of these children and their friends, our pastors and their families, and our uh, missionary friends and their families, that you would provide them with safety and peace and joy. And we also pr pray, Lord, for all of the medical people and the first responders and all of the leaders in every uh, nation and in every state and at every level that you would give them wisdom and strength and lead their decisions Lord we ask you and just thank you again once and again that all of these things would be done for your glory Lord in the name of Jesus amen this week we have another super book adventure to share with you and it's from the Old Testament in the book of Joshua now Moses has died, and Joshua is going to lead the Israelites into uh, to the city of Jericho and defeat the city of Jericho. Now God promised Joshua in Joshua 1.1.5, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And he told Joshua in Joshua 1.9, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. In fact, let's sing that together right now. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Wherever you go. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified, do not 
be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go wherever you go wherever you go wherever you go very good all right in our adventure Joshua and his men are helped by a woman named Rahab as you watch see how God kept his promise to be with his people and how he used someone that originally was thought of as an enemy to be the helper to defeat Jericho and to become a part of their community. In fact, Rahab becomes an ancestor in the genealogy of Jesus. It has been great to be with you today. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. May God bless and keep you until we meet again. So let's see, watch and see what God helps Joshua and Israelites in Rahab and the walls of Jericho.